Hello friends, today we are going to prove some trigonometric formula using complex numbers. Basically, the two formula involves sine a plus b equals sine a cos b plus cos a sine b and cos a plus b equals cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. By using trigonometry, we need to draw a figure and uh, we need to relate the angles a and b. But by using complex numbers, the proof is quite easy. But before we proceed, you must have the basic concept of complex numbers and trigonometry. And we are going to use the famous equation of mathematics that is e to the power i theta equals cos theta plus i sine theta to prove the result. So this equation is analogous to e equals to mc square, which is a popular formula in science. So let's get started. From this equation, let us consider the first angle VA. So instead of theta, we are going to put angle A such that e to the IA equals cos A plus I sine A, which will be equation 1. Then similarly, instead of A, we put another angle that is B and we put the same equation, so it will be equation number 2. Then we multiply equation 1 with 2 to get this result. This will be multiplied with this and this whole expression will be multiplied with this whole expression now on simplification using the law of indices since the base is the same so we are going to add the powers that is e to the power i a plus i b then we open the brackets by multiplying the each terms with each term of the another term so we'll get cos a cos b plus cos a times i sine b plus i sine a times cos b plus i sine a times i sine b and for the simplification we can take i common here that will be e to the i times a plus b then we are going to multiply i with i since i squared is minus 1 so we get here minus 1 now at last what we do is again e to the power i a plus b can be written as cos a plus b plus i sin a plus b from this formula since theta equal to a plus b so we will get this result in the left side and on the right side we collect the real coefficients and the imaginary coefficients for real part we will bring cos a cos b and minus sin a sin b over here which will be equal to the real part of the left function then the imaginary part that is sine a plus b will be equal to the imaginary coefficient in the right side that is that is cos a sine b plus sine a cos b since the real part must be equal to the real part in the left side and the imaginary part must be equal to the imaginary part in the right side so we can equate them so equating the real part will get cos a plus b equal to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b and sine a plus b equals to cos a cos sine b plus sine a cos b so this is a easy proof using the complex numbers so you can also prove the result for cos a minus b and sine a minus b also so hence proved so thanks for watching